Hi everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial. Today we are going to build a multiplayer to-do list with live blocks and React. So let's jump into the code. As you can see, you can find all the details of this tutorial on our website. I will also put all the links that you need to explore live blocks in the video description. So let's start by creating a brand new project using npx create react app and passing react to do app in parameters. My project is ready, I'm gonna open it in my favorite IDE. So the first thing we will do will be to install two npm packages, liveblocks client and liveblocks react. Let's start the project using start script in our package.json. So now that the app is running, we can start to code. Let's open index.js file. We'll have to import two functions, create client from liveblocks client and liveblocks provider from liveblocks react package. After that, we'll need to create a new liveblocks client. For that, we'll call the create client function and pass a public key in parameter. The public key is mandatory to use the client, so we'll have to open the dashboard page. Here on the API keys page, I can copy my public API key. We just have to pass the key in parameter here and the client is ready to be used. Now we can use the live blocks provider, which is an higher order component. It allows every component uh, under it to use live blocks. We'll also have to pass the client as a parameter. Let's import now the room provider. The room provider, like the live blocks provider, allows us to use a specific room. We'll have to pass the ID, the room ID in parameter. The room ID is also very useful to find your room in the dashboard. For the purpose of this video, we'll use an art coded value, react to do app video, but keep in mind that you will have to use generated IDs in the future. Let's open the app.js file. First, we'll have to remove all the code. Next, I'll create a div with class name container. I import use others hook. This one is the react hook that uh, let us see who is in the room. So I create a new function who is here. This component will display the number of other users connected on the same room. After that, I will use my who is here component in my app component. Let's refresh the application. We'll also have to open a new tab to test our new component who is here. As you can see, it is working great. We have two users in the same room, so we have one other user online. Next thing to do will be to copy the CSS from the app CSS files that you can find on the tutorial. It will allow us to improve the design of our to-do list. We'll see that later. Next, we'll have to import use update my presence hook. This one is to update the presence of our user. We'll also need the use state function from React package. After that, I will create a new state variable called draft. We'll use the use state hooks to create draft and set draft function. We will also use the update my present function from the use update my presence hook. Now we will create a new input. This input will be used to create a new to do in our to do list. The unchanged event will be used to update our draft value. We'll use the set draft method with the event.target.value, which means every time you 
will type something in the input, the draft value will be updated. We'll also use the update my presence function to push data to the presence block. As you can see, the override object allows you to push any data that you want. It can be X and Y positions or coordinates. In our case, it will be just is typing true to display a specific message near our input. Let's implement the on key down event. This one will be useful when you want to push a new to do in our to do list. We'll check if the enter key is uh, down, which means uh, the user uh, pressed enter, and we'll update our presence to is typing is false. After that, we'll reset the draft value. The last event will be the on blur. This one happens when you lose the focus on the input. We'll just have to update the presence to is typing equal false. So let's create a new component. It will be named someone is typing. As you probably guessed, it will display a message if someone is typing on the to-do list. So I will use the users hook to get all the others presence data. To use the users presence data, you will have to convert it to an array and then we'll have to check if someone is typing. After that, we can return a component if someone is typing in our application. So let's add the new component in our app function. So let's test what we've done. And you can see that when I'm typing in one page, the other one is displaying the right message. Now that everything is ready, we can implement the rest of the application. So we'll have to use use list hook. This one allows you to create a new list of data in the storage block. So the todos variable will be created from use list with the todos key. After that, we'll check if the todos variable is null or not. It is to prevent the app from crashing because when you are um, loading the application, every data that is in the storage will be loaded. But as you may know, when the first render happen, the data are not present in the component. Now we can go back on the on key down event and we can push a new to do value in our to do's list. For that, we'll use to do's.push and we'll pass an object which will be a text property with the draft value. We have everything we need to create new to do's, so now we'll have to display them. To do so, I just have to map the to-do's value using the map function on the array and we will return a new component. This component will display what's in the to-do, so we'll have to display the text. Don't forget to use the index as a key for the mapping to avoid any React error. So let's use to-do.text value which will be the content of our to-do. And then we'll create a new button to delete the to-do. For that, we'll just have to use the onClick event on the button, and create a new function and delete the to-do using the to-do index. And voila, we have a complete to-do list using React and LiveBlocks. As you can see, Every user connected to the application will see in real time all the modifications that we are doing on the to-do list and all the data are stored on the storage block on LiveBlock servers. 
If you want to see your data, you can go on the dashboard and open the rooms tab. In this tab, you will see all the rooms that you've created and you will also see the data that are stored in the storage block for each room. As you can see, we can see our to-do list items. I hope you liked this video and until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.